Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another Hogwarts Legacy gameplay. Um, I'm still kind of debating whether I want to do a full commentary or just a playthrough. Um, there's just so much going on here and a lot of dialogue. So I think for this one, I'm going to try it out with just very minimal commentary. Um, probably just an intro and an ed and a, you know a wrap up. But yeah, let's get on to it, guys. And uh, thanks for watching. Nice to see you, my young friend. There's something in there. I just know it. Rebellion. I think if we asked Star, she'd let us go off early to the astronomy tower. I bet she would. Rebellion! Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora, dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, A little treat for your auntie. Ah, oh, hello. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in Herbology is knowledge. The prudent Herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing ball. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the Mandrake Root. Accio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. <laughs> now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repair I'm very 
sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right, then. Off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Now, for our next task, we'll be planting Dittany at our potting tables. You can all get started. I Rebellion. need a brief word with our new student. Hmm. I wonder if hippogriffs like knot grass. I do wonder about Professor Fig. He's hardly ever in his classroom. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting Dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful. A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. It wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Let's see how to balance my star thistle arrangement. Niffler's fancy or roses? Dittany's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganweld potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. Well done! Once it can be harvested, your Dittany will be ready to use in Wiganweld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. Ravelli. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me? Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh. Well, thank you. I need to put Sebastian in his place myself. I mean, I would have if Hecate hadn't stopped me. Didn't she stop that dragon skull from crushing you? <sighs> Typical Slytherin trick, dropping a dragon skull on someone during a fight. We Gryffindors fight with honor. You know that, of course. Rebellion. Here we are, home of the Rebellion. Chinese chomping cabbage. Oh. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest.
mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but, well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. Just because those cabbages will chomp on a dummy doesn't mean they do the same on, say, a goblin. It's chaos out there. Trolls in Hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. Rebellion! reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves I shall end our lesson I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages professor remarkable plants aren't they I hope they weren't too much trouble oh don't see any bite marks or missing digits and good as you do seem to be quite green fingered oh I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. Make anything grow, we must first understand it. That goes for plants as well as friendships. Kindness and concern are as necessary in the greenhouse as in the great hall. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Rebellion. My family has a golf going tournament every year. A bit chaotic. First year at Hogwarts. Every time she pretends not to see me before, I cast her with a trip gym. Actually, maybe auras or someone from the ministry guarding the school after the incident in Hogsmeade. I saw an aura that Rebellion! Rebellion.
Revelio. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld Potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a goblin rebellion. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? Yes, but why does that matter to you? Brilliant! And it matters because you can be a part of something truly creative. You remember me, don't you? Gareth Weasley. Ah, yes. We met in the common room. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single Throoper Feather, as you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission. Perhaps you could grab it for me. I don't know, Gareth. I don't want to get on Sharp's bad side. You won't. Fwooper feathers aren't that valuable. Sharp won't even miss it. Very well. I'll bring you a Fwooper feather. Brilliant! Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. A well-prepared ritual with... Rebellion. Remember, precision is key when brewing potions. Here's the Fwopper feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! 
This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Endurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Proficiency in potions are two things that cannot be rushed. Have patience and be thorough. And now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Uh -oh. Get it! Again. Oh, Dragon dog. What happened? <laughs> well done, Darren. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor, again. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. I brewed an Adurus potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. I'm not sure what you're talking about, Professor. You will not earn favor with me by failing to take responsibility for your actions. I suggest you heed my warning. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. Professor Sharp must have learned a lot during his time as an Auror. Ugh, my robes are going to reap from Gareth's inspiration for the... Last time I have a potion idea that I don't Riding a hippogriff.
Revelio. Off on another adventure, are we? Rebellion. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Revelio. Rebellion. I should investigate. Incendio.
Rebellion. It is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Natty. How are you? I am well, thank you. I was there, and I saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow at the Three Broomsticks. I have been worried about you. I'm all right at the moment. If you don't mind my asking, why were they looking for you? I've never met Rookwood or Harlow. Perhaps they mistook me for another student. Hmm. A bit odd. The two of them pursuing a Hogwarts student so intently. But whatever the reason, you were clearly in danger. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. Everyone has been talking about you defending Hogsmeade from that troll attack. And I shall never forget watching Sorona stand up to Rookwood and Harlow in the Three Broomsticks. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair on their own, and you should know that Rookwood is in league with Ranrock. I had heard they were seen in Hogsmeade together. All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations, taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow is planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Be on your guard. I beg your pardon! Ow! Dare you threaten me? What's going on here? Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I will be included. I don't have time to argue. I told you that you were not to stray far from home. Especially when I'm inside with your I never thought I'm not. Pardon me, is everything all right? Hardly. I've just lost my business and almost my life. You'd best look elsewhere for wares. I've nothing to sell now. I never thought it'd come to this. Be on your guard. Ranrock and his loyalists will spare no one. They attacked you. Oh, Ranrock has no patience for goblins who won't join him. While I too would like to see goblin kind treated by wizards as equals, bloodshed is not the answer. When I said as much, they turned on me, struck me till I nearly passed out. Took my carts, my belongings, even that which is most precious to me, my paintings. Has Ranrock's lot ever attacked you like this before? They've been taunting and threatening me for a while now. But they've always believed that violence is the only way to get what they want. Things have taken a much darker turn of late. Ranrock is getting more powerful, and his loyalists know it. They feel untouchable. Ranrock assumed that all goblins would agree to follow him. 
But he was wrong. Many of us would like a diplomatic end to the discord with wizard kind. You mentioned that your paintings were taken. Are you a painter? I am. It's my calling, though most would think it an unusual path for a goblin. Most of my family work in metal, or associated with Gringotts. I'd wager my finest brush that Ramrock's lot have no appreciation for any of my work, and it'll be tossed aside for kindling. Without my carts and my livelihood, who knows when I'll be able to paint again. I'm sorry this happened to you. I shall certainly keep an eye out for your carts. That is very kind of you, but I think they took them to their camp southwest of here, just past some ruins. Too dangerous to try and retrieve them. I did enchant the carts to return to me if I ever lost them, however. Slim though the chances may be, I'm holding out hope that some of what was taken is returned to me. It was nice meeting you. <laughs> I wish it had been under better circumstances. After what Ranrock did to that goblin banker at Gringotts, I shouldn't be surprised at what happened to Arn. They must have come this way! Think! I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to... Victor Rookwood don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi! Speak of the devil! Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student! You can't be sick! <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupefy! You should never have come here. Put up with me! Damn! All right, I thought I'd pop in for this. Ashwinder Duelist. The collections section of your fuel guide has been updated with a new enemy type. You may learn valuable insights on enemies, such as their weakness, weaknesses or certain spells. So are these like Dementors kind of in a way? <clears throat> Must be. Here, in such a manner than so close to Hogwarts. My God, hello, lady. Are you all Whew. right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story. Thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. You mentioned someone named Priya? Yes, my wife. She's the one who piqued my interest in Merlin, gave me a book when we were students at Hogwarts. Typical hard-working Hufflepuff, brilliant potioner, has her own shop in Nocturne Alley. She's a traveling vendor. Here's what's going on in the Highlands before I do. You're a researcher? 
Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. I thought that Merlin and the tales about King Arthur's court were a myth. Mere myth? <laughs> You're lucky Sir Cadogan didn't hear you. Chatters on endlessly about his connection to Merlin from his portrait at Hogwarts. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. I'm not sure old vine-covered pillars are worth studying. Well, I think anything concerning Merlin is worth pursuing, and I shall have you know. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Sweet is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols. Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Sweet with me. It's just over there by my tent. This trunk? Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the Mallow Sweet. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the mallow suite on the swell, and we'll see what happens. My word! Did you see that? The vines disappeared! What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. Incendiary. The flames make the pyre sink. I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swell on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require Mallow Suite, which you can find in Hogsmeade, should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. And do be careful out here. Now, I've got what I needed. I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. Rebellion. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so what Nicholas an episode. You. Oh. you can find him near the Great Hall. All right. <clears throat> like I was saying, what an episode. We got to go outside the castle walls and branch out even more. We got to face a couple of battles. Um, got to do some potions. 
And now we're figuring out that these little swirls on the ground, if we find them, it's called Merlin's Trial. So interesting, huh? I'm loving it so far. All right, guys, thank you for watching this video. Stay safe, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.